let's put this to rest once and for all couples can't control it and women definitely do not influence it i think we have to be extremely extremely clear as to it never can be reproductive health in any form can never be the burden or the cross to carry for just one of the two genders genetics of the fetus when it comes to gender is influenced by the male but not consciously all of us have 46 uh, chromosomes 23 pairs there's one pair called the sex chromosomes which makes us genetically male or female though today we do understand there's a lot of different variations which we have completely accepted as mainstream So a woman has two X chromosomes all she can do is to give her fetus an X chromosome the difference comes from the male who's got an X chromosome and a Y chromosome interestingly the X chromosome being bigger than the Y chromosome and the gender of the fetus and finally the child depends upon whether the sperm is an X chromosome bearing sperm or a Y chromosome bearing sperm so this is science this is reality Having said that it's not like the man can decide what he gives or not even medicine can decide what he gives But who takes the responsibility it's the woman who takes the burden in our kind of society it's very often the woman's family whether it comes to blame shame expense Unfortunately women take the burden of responsibility of a lot of things when it comes to reproductive health and uh, I think this is a great starting point for conversation when it comes to who takes responsibility and I think at the end of the day nobody has to and if there's anything it has to be shared and it has to be fair and it can never be the burden of just one of the two First of all, you know, in our country, the PCPNDT Act has made it illegal to even try and influence it or even talk about it. So that's great. But people are continuously trying kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, anything from diet to Chinese calendar to some forms of uh, really irrational treatments. And trust me, at the end of the day, nothing works. Someone is there trying to take care of vulnerabilities of people. and influence them with acidic and alkaline diets and vaginal environments please nothing works at the end of it when a couple is looking to having a pregnancy and a baby all they should be praying for is it goes well and it works out well and they have a nice healthy baby at the end of it